welcome to medilab zone youtube channel uh, this video is about how to differentiate anophila and, and culicin mosquito so anophila and culicin mosquito has a lot of characteristics uh, that help to differentiate uh, those two mosquitoes uh, those are mouth parts eggs wings larvae and pupae and uh, resting position so uh, let's see briefly about those characteristics uh, this is anophila and culician mosquito mouth parts uh, this is anophila in female and male this is culician female and male so uh, firstly i describe what are the uh, mouth parts uh, this is proboscis This is maxillary palps. There are two maxillary palps, and uh, this is antenna. There are two antenna. And firstly, I uh, describe anophila in male mosquito. Anophila in male mosquito uh, antenna has a uh, long and many hairs. You can see long and many hairs. And uh, anophila in uh, male male mosquito. Uh, maxillary palps club shape and it is uh, uh, as long as the proboscis and uh, when we uh, describe female mosquito antenna has a uh, short and few hairs you can see short and few hairs and maxillary palps as long as the proboscis but there are no club shape you can see there are no club shape Uh, when we uh, talk about Curusian male mosquito, uh, antenna has uh, long and many hairs, and maxillary palp as long as the proboscis. You can see, and uh, Curusian female mosquito antenna has a uh, short and few hairs, and maxillary palp is short and is one third of the length of the proboscis. You can see. One third the length of the proboscis. So how we uh, differentiate uh, Culician female and Anophila and female mosquito? We can use maxillary palps to differentiate Culician female and Anophila and female mosquito. Uh, and uh, we can use differentiate Culician male and Anophila and male mosquito. Anophila and male mosquito maxillary palp has a club shape. Anophila and Culician mosquito, we can be differentiate using their resting position. Uh, when we take uh, Anophila line mosquito, uh, rest at the angle, forty five angle, rest at the angle to the surface, the proboscis. is held forward you can see proboscis held forward the proboscis and abdomen are in a straight line this is a straight line you can see and when we take culician mosquito stress with the abdomen parallel to the surface rest with the abdomen parallel to the surface while the proboscis is bent down you can see this is proboscis and this is abdomen part and bend down so abdomen and uh, proboscis are at an angle to one another so now you can differentiate anophila and culician mosquito using their resting position uh, this is anophila and culician mosquito eggs so uh, in anophila and mosquito a uh, late single eggs you can see single eggs and uh, those are boat shape boat shape with lateral plots those are lateral plots and pills and uh, when we take culician mosquito uh, culex species laid egg in masses the eggs are arranged vertically with the pointed end toward the surface of the water you can see 
pointed end toward the surface of the water. It's referred to as the X rapt. It looks like raps. And uh, it is mosquito, it is species, lay single eggs. You can see single eggs. The eggs are cylindrical and reticulated. You can see this is eggs are cylindrical and reticulated. Uh, this is anopheline uh, wings and this is culician wing. So uh, in anopheline mosquito wing has a dark and pale band. You can see dark and pale band. And Culisium mosquito, uh, there are no dark and pale band. You can see. But in uh, Mansonia, Mansonia mosquito, uh, they are being has a pepper salt appearance. This appearance look like a pepper salt appearance. So now you can differentiate Anopheline and Culisium mosquito using their pink. Uh, this is Anopheline and Culisium mosquito pupae. In Anopheline mosquito, uh, pupae has uh, breathing trumpets and those are short and broad. You can see short and broad. And uh, abdominal segments with palmate hairs. Now you know what are the what is palmate hairs. And uh, abdominal segments with palmate hairs. And cephalothorax close to the abdominal segments. This is cephalothorax, and it is close to the abdominal segments. In Curisian mosquito. Breathing trumpets are long and narrow. You can see long and narrow. No palmate hairs. You can see there are no palmate hairs. And uh, sepalothorax away from the abdominal segments. You can see sepalothorax away from the abdominal segments. This is uh, larvae of Anopheline and Culisian mosquito. So, uh, in anopheline mosquito, absence of siphon tube. But uh, in Culisian mosquito, breathing siphon is present. Anopheline breathing siphon is absent. And uh, in anopheline mosquito has a palmate hair. You can see this is those are palmate hairs. But Culisian mosquito, there are no palmate hairs. And uh, larvae in parallel to the water surface. You can see parallel to the water surface. In Culisian mosquito, larvae hang down vertically from the water surface. So if you have a question or what kind of video do you need next, please comment below. So thank you.